So my monitor, I have a 34 inch LG monitor and I have it on the stand, but I also have a swiveling arm thing for my Rodecaster Pro. And I'm thinking maybe I can replace it and put my monitor on it because I like the way my monitor sits. It sits right in the middle of my desk, but it's just so kind of in the way that I just lose room. So I'm thinking maybe if I can put the monitor off to the corner of the desk, maybe it'll be better. And especially if I could have it off to the side and because the way the, I'll show you. So the way the monitor is set up, it has this base and I could put my laptop, I connect it via um, Thunderbolt and I'm able to like monitor my laptop on the monitor but it's just this base kind of limits what I can put on the desk. So if I can put my monitor on this arm thing that I have for my Roadcaster, cause it's pretty cool to put the Roadcaster on this swiveling arm. I need to like put it away. I can do that. But let's see if we can swap my 34 inch LG monitor with that. As you can see here, it has those four things that the monitors have on the back of the monitor. So I'm assuming I can just attach the monitor on here. But the question is, will that arm be strong enough to hold the monitor? Because the monitor is a big monitor. I don't want it to like fall and break. As you can see, this is the LG. I think this got like a switch somewhere. Oh, there we go. It's right there. So I'm gonna lift up that switch and it should. I'll push it down, I'll push it down. And it should come up. Okay, there we go. So you see how it has those four little things like on the back of the monitor is what I need. So right now I'm taking off that little plate thing for my swiveling arm for my roadcaster. Putting the screws off to the side, saving them for later. Maybe I'll throw them out or something. I have no need for them. Guess I could take that part off here. So this is what we will attach to the back of that monitor. Yeah, fits perfectly. Looks like it has its own little screws get a screwdriver actually shout out to my friend Edith she gave me this um, birthday present this year it's a survival kit <laughs> I call it my zombie survival kit it has like a bunch of survival stuff like screwdrivers uh, knives blankets a blade just a bunch of survival stuff all right, so got all the screws off and I'm gonna line it up with the holes and make sure that, make sure that it's good to go. All right, I had to fast forward a few steps. I screwed in all the holes and the monitor is completely secured. Right now I'm just trying to fit it into that little stand there and make sure that it's on tight. After trying to shove it in, I finally got it in place. The monitor was completely and safely secured. I'm kind of happy about that. So the monitor stand can hold the monitor safely, but I still wanted to find a perfect spot to put the monitor clamp onto. So I decided to shift it further back just to give me a little bit more real estate. This is a X, this is a eGPU. It's a video card. It's a RX 580, eight gigs of RAM. It's really good. Helps me edit videos a lot faster. That came out pretty good. This is what I call a random, a randomly successful project. 
in the middle of the night. So my audio, so my microphone kind of flipped inward. So the audio kind of sucked. But here I was just so happy about how it looked and talking about the way I would orientate this monitor, having it swiveled in or swiveled out, tilting. It's, it came out pretty good and I was super excited for it because it was just a random idea and it worked out. So thanks for watching and I don't want y'all to suffer through this horrible audio because this microphone clearly is inside of my shirt. All right, y'all. Peace. Thanks for watching.